Hey, what's up everybody? Mr. B here with Montezuma Martial Arts Academy out of Dolores, Colorado. So today we're going to be talking about the pivot punch and how to score with it either going forward or going backward or from an angle. So we're just going to be going over a few drills that you can incorporate into your sparring training and your drills in an effort to be able to get this on three different lines. So our first line very obviously is the forward line. That is the most obvious. Okay, our second one is going to be that defensive line. And then finally, we're going to be working that 45 line. So all three of these are going to work off of that same backhand punch. You can do this out of a right or left. I recommend training both sides. Okay, so one of the big things that you want to be able to start with here is from your set downs. Make sure that you've got a nice set of rhythm going. Make sure that you've got that guard up. Now, one of the things that I always like to throw with my backhand punch is this front hand fake. So it can be a block if I needed to, but what this does is as I move in, this starts to draw their attention up high. Okay, so I want their hands to come up, boom, so that I can push through with that backhand punch. So I want to draw the guard up and then score. So when I'm here, boom. Now, a lot of people think that because we're moving, like we're saying that this is a forward attack, they immediately have to like push forward. I don't like to do that. I like to get as much extension with my technique first and then use the leg to get whatever additional distance I need. So you really just want to practice here, boom, okay? Just being able to get that full hip rotation, full arm extension. Where a lot of people make a mistake with this drill is they stop short and then they feel like they have to run to their opponent to catch up, all right? I want to try and play the game. Can I score here? And then if I need to, push in. And at that point, I'm already dropping this front hand to score to the top, all right? So I'm not just leading this out here and trying to push through. As I step, boom, there's my back knuckle to score up over the top. So that's the easiest way to get this on a forward. Now, this also works if you're trying to draw somebody in on their own blitz here. So what I like to do is I like to let this front hand drop just a little bit to bait them, okay? I want them to strike with that front hand to the head. So as they come in, I'm gonna bring that hand up. Like I said, this draw acts as a fake, but it also acts as a nice, easy rising block. So as they begin to strike with that front hand, I'm gonna go ahead and start to fade away, boom, and score. And I'm gonna to try to not only get away, but also get underneath. So I'm changing the plane of my fight from here, boom, to here. And I'm gonna drop underneath, all right? And then, like I said, I need to move back. One of the things that we make a mistake thinking about when we're point sparring is making sure that there's enough room for the referee to see it, all right? If we get into this, boom, where there's two bodies on top of each other, it makes it really hard for a ref to call a good clean point. So what we want to do is we want to make sure to create that distance by stepping away and then again underneath. So you're here, bouncing, pop. You're here, bouncing, pop. Nice and easy, okay? And then like I said, always making sure to work both sides. Now, say we've got a fighter that's starting to turn on us, okay? He's starting to move to what I call the weak side. He's starting to move over here to our back side so that he can outflank us and counter, all right? We're gonna let him do that, especially if he's just kind of bouncing here, all right? We're gonna let him kind of take a couple of steps here because what we wanna do is as he gets to about two o'clock right here, okay? That's when I'm gonna cut him, boom. And I want to try and time his bounce, all right? So if he's here, one, two, okay? When he is in the air for that second bounce, my step should already be taking place. And as he lands, boom, that gives me the opportunity to drive on him, all right? Now, you can also work this, say you've got an aggressive fighter that's either pushing a, a really hard side kick. You can work this with a scoop to get that kick out of the way here, scoop and then counter up nice and easy. So you're just working that 45 angle. So they move in, okay? They're moving around, they're flanking us, they're flanking us, pop and drive, 
okay? Or they're throwing that side kick. We're gonna scoop step it out of the way and then counter up. Now, one of the best ways that I like to do this is the random drill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my forward, my backward, my 45, all from a set down. Okay, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, okay? And you can basically work that combo, any of those three, all the time from that two bounce, okay? One, two, go. One, two, go. One, two, go. Okay? And you can set your timer, you can run that for a minute, two and a half minutes, three minutes, whatever you need to do to get those reps in. All right, guys, that's been our tutorial on the reverse punch and how to hit it moving forward, backward, and on a 45. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe. And until next time, train hard, fight fast, score first.